Graham Vincent, good morning. Um, yeah, I'm in the workshop again. It's a Monday morning um, when I'm filming this. I think I'm, I'm not going to pan around the workshop because the word disgrace actually springs to mind. It's a little bit untidy in here, I have to say. I, mean, I think the first thing I'm going to do this morning um, is have a massive tidy up and then crack on with the three violins I'm making at the moment, which I haven't been working on for absolutely ages because I've been doing uh, so many other stuff related to violins, you know, playing, um, exhibiting, all sorts of stuff. But I did want to have a quick chat about finishing violin necks um, because this is something, there are quite a few different options and I seem to have tried out all of them and I'm, I'm fairly happy with where I've kind of ended up um, and I thought that might be interesting to you anyway. So when I started making violins, I actually um, just did the whole violin. This this isn't one of my first ones, but I'm just using this for illustration. I used to do the whole violin in the same finish. Obviously, that's got some uh, real advantages because it's it's faster and you don't have to worry about sort of finishes crossing over and all that sort of thing. Um, it's got some disadvantages if you don't like the feel of the varnish under your hands and we'll, we'll come back to that in a bit and also the, the main one um, is that where you're, where, you're, where you're holding the violin that actually puts a lot of wear and tear onto the finish more so than it does on the rest of the violin and so that will tend to wear. Now um, I actually think um, the distribution of varnish, you know, and the fact there isn't much on the neck in the way that most people finish violins now, whether it's distressed like this one or whether it's whether it's um, not not distressed like this one. But again, we always kind of leave the neck looking seemingly unfinished. I think that's largely down to the fact that um, when these violins were being made, first of all, they were just varnished with the same varnish all over and the varnish just wore off the neck. It's as simple as that. I'm pretty sure that's what was going on. So, disadvantage number one, the varnish can wear off. Um, I've also, on a couple of occasions, because I make all my own varnish, on a couple of occasions I've run into issues when, um, I mean, some varnish batches are inevitably softer than others and there was one batch um, when the varnish wasn't really um, tough enough um, to last on the neck so that really did suffer from wear. The other thing about varnish, um, however lovely the varnish is, with a gloss finish, um, if you imagine running your hand over a nice piece of timber, even though it's got a matte finish, your hand will run smoothly over it. If you imagine running your hand over glass, even though it's a much shinier, much smoother finish than the wood, it will stick more. Uh, and that is something that comes into play, that friction is something that comes into play with the feel of the finish on the neck. So um, another finish, which people use on the neck, which I've used on this particular one, is a shellac, a French polish. Um, it's tougher than the, than the actual oil varnish, but again, it's, it's got a sort of shiny, smooth finish. And so you do get that sort of slightly, but sticky isn't the right word, frictiony, is not a word I'm sure but a surface with a friction so it, it, it's kind of not smooth running under the hand. People use various oils, different types of oils uh, as a finishing, I mean the most simplest one is a, is a linseed oil um, but one of the one of the ones that is commonly used is a pure tongue oil and it has to, that's T-U-N-G, and it has to be a pure oil because tongue oil is often um, adulterated with additional fillers and uh, hardeners and all the rest of it and, and stuff that bodies it up because pure tongue oil in itself um, doesn't build up much of a surface but what it does have and the reason that this is the sort of finish that I've 
come to is when, I don't know if you can see that on here, but when, it, when it's finished with tongue oil, I think it's as close as you can get to the feel of natural wood uh, under your hands. Uh, and I think, you know, everything in life is a compromise, but that seems to be the best the best compromise, the best of the bunch. Uh, so it's also incredibly easy to apply, which is nice. I mean, obviously you go through the usual process of um, sanding, scraping, sanding the neck. Um, I normally take them through to um, six to 800 um, grit and also wetting the net, wetting the neck, pardon me, and sanding it back so that you, you don't get a, a subsequent rising raising of, of the grain and then you just use a little bit of tongue oil on a cloth and just wipe it on it's a very slow drying oil so you'll need to put on um, a coat it will soak into the surface after about half an hour just go over it again with the same cloth not to build up the surface because it won't be doing that but to even out the surface so you don't get sort of oil sat on the surface in some places and soaked away in others let that dry 24 hours and then put another coat on and do the same thing of evening the coat out uh, you can use a very 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 fine abrasive paper in between coats just literally just to sort of take off any tiny little nibs that might might be there um, put two or three coats on and you'll end up with a a very pleasing, very natural feeling finish, um, which is easy to maintain, um, takes a lot of wear, and seems to be the one which most violinists will appreciate. I mean, like all things in life, there, there's many ways of doing these different things, and, and also different people like different finishes, but that seems to be one um, which ticks quite a few boxes for me. It's relatively easy to do nicely. It's easy to maintain. It lasts a long time. A lot of people like it. So I think you're kind of winning with that sort of finish. So that's kind of after a lot of painful ex experimentation and experience, that's what I would suggest. Hope that helps. Um, look after yourselves. See you soon.